Great to be with you today. We're in Hebrews chapter 2. If you have your Bibles, turn there with me uh, today. We're in verse 14. And the Bible says this, Inasmuch then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same. We're talking about the incarnation. Why? That through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is the devil, and release those who through fear of death were all their, their lifetime subject to bondage. Man, this is such a a beautiful portion of scripture on, and it's just simply put, the gospel, right? You have the incarnation of Jesus Christ. You have the purpose, which was that he would taste death so that he could destroy the one who had the power of death. The devil was given the power of death. You know, when Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, they they did exactly what God told them not to do. And this is what God said to Adam. He said, man, don't eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, because in the day that you eat of that tree, you will die. And of course, we know that that step of obedience had a huge impact. You know, sometimes I think, well, you know, it's just, we think, well, it's just one sin. You know, what's the big deal with one sin? Well, let's go back to the garden, and you can see what one sin can do. And this was what happened. Death had been from that time ruling over humanity and producing great fear in people. You know, I think if you were to ask 10 people, you know, what uh, their greatest fear is, probably sitting right at the top is either dying or the process of death. It might be right after like, you know, getting eaten by a shark while you're surfing or something like that. But, but people have been in bondage to the fear of death. And so what did Jesus do? I just want you to note here, you know, this is not your religious efforts. This is not about what you did. Um, You can't overcome death. You can't escape death. You may stick yourself in a cryogenic chamber, but the truth is this, you're still dead. There's only one who overcame the power of death, and that is Jesus Christ. He has liberated us from the fear of death. In fact, this is what Paul said, man, death, where is your sting? You know, the the victory of death has been swallowed up in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And so this is the thing for us, just like Paul said, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. We don't fear death any longer because we know it is just the way that we step into everlasting life with God the Father. Hey, be free today from the fear of death and from the fear of the adversary. You're not in bondage anymore because Jesus was raised from the dead. Lord, we love you and we thank you. Help us to live courageously today because of all that you have done for us. It is in your name that we pray. Amen. Have a great day.